Welcome to the basics of financial management. Third part, how much return your business gives you? We always say that is called as the return on investment. ROI funda. ROI is how much return your business is giving you without considering any cost of funds. Therefore, ROI is always defined as EBIT upon investment. Investment means your capital employed. EBIT is earnings before interest and taxes. Now, do remember that interest is a financial expense that depends upon your capital structure. How will you get EBIT in real life? You take sales. From there, you subtract your variable cost. From there, you subtract your operating fixed cost. You will start to arrive at something called as EBIT. EBIT is your business is giving you how much return. Now, do remember that your EBIT is always independent of your capital structure. What do you mean by that? Suppose for starting this business, I required money. Suppose I required say 100 crore rupees. I thought I'll be taking 75 crores in form of equity shares. I'll issue the equity shares. Rest 25 crores, I'll issue debentures. So therefore, I had 100 crore rupees of capital. On this capital, I was thinking that I will be earning ROI of 15 percent so therefore my EBIT in this case will be how much are 15 crores now do remember that even if this 75 is to 25 was reverse that is if suppose this particular figure was 25 if this figure was 75 still my EBIT will be same EBIT is how much returns your business gives you it does not matter from where you have got your funds ROI will be remaining same yes ROE will be changing based upon your capital structure. What do you mean by ROE? ROE is return on equity. But today we are trying to be talking of ROI. ROI is how much your business return. Number of admissions in my academy do not depend upon from where I'm going to be getting funds for doing my business. Okay, number of students who will be enrolling will remain same only. So therefore, it tells a company how much profit its business gives and ROI is always independent of our capital structure. You should be knowing this basic part. I'll see you next time.